Right, I'm going to do a quick um, quick update on the um, Uragan, my Uragan Compact. Now, people tend to be quite brand loyal in Britain. I don't know uh, when it comes to air guns, but um, they tend to stick with the um, older and more established brands. Um, and BSA, Daystate, Air Arms... Uh, Webley, even though Webley aren't actually a British company anymore, they're owned by um, a Turkish company, and all the air guns are made in Turkey these days, but hey-ho. Um, and it can be difficult for companies that people have never heard of or that are coming from the old Eastern Bloc to uh, get a following because everyone's always worried that they're either going to be uh, cheap and nasty or unreliable or... You know, they might be great for a couple of months and then bits of them will start to fall apart and all the rest of it. And uh, basically, it's nonsense. Um, this Uragan uh, is made, I think it's made in uh, Czechoslovakia uh, by uh, Airgun Technologies. And um, it's not Mr. B. I've had it a good few months now. Um, and it shot a hell of a lot of stuff. I mean, all right, admittedly, it's mainly been my night hunting rifle. So it's mainly been used at night on the rabbits. But I've shot a couple of rabbits in the day with it as well, and uh, a couple of pigeons with it in the day. And um, I'll be honest, it's phenomenal. And it has not missed a beat. Nothing, nothing has gone wrong with it at all. Nothing. It's not missed a beat. The, it's not had a single jam, it's not had a single misload. Um, I've had no trouble charging it up, and I've used my hand pump to charge it, and uh, a dive bottle to charge it. Nothing. It's been nothing but wonderful. The trigger, the side lever, everything has been superb. Um, I've chronographed it since I bought it. Um, and now it's not changed at all. Um, same readings over a 10 shot string. It's great. Um, loving this. This little cheap piece that I got. That is brilliant. I must admit, really liking that. That was a really good addition to it. And it suits this pard beautifully. It really does. The two are almost custom made for one another. Little pard and the Uragan Compact. Um, it, it's just brilliant and I think there's a lot of unfounded fear of these rifles that are coming in from Eastern Bloc countries or ex-Eastern Bloc countries I should say um, rifles like the Uragans, the uh, the Priest that I've got again another fantastic rifle um, you know when people get a bit prejudiced about them about whether they're up to the, up to the engineering qualities and all the rest of it well, all I can say is, all right, I've not had it a mega long time, but I put a hell of a lot of ammunition through it because I go shooting probably, I don't know, three, four times a week. Um, so the, my air rifles tend to get a fair orbit of use. And yes, I look after them. You know, they're treated with extreme care. And they really are. They get clean every time I get home, no matter what the weather is. They're clean down. They get a wipe over, take any surface water off them and whatnot. Uh, they get regularly serviced. Um, they're all kept in uh, locked gun cabinets. They're not left lying around where they can get dunked and banged. So they're all kept in locked gun cabinets that have got uh, uh, moisture absorbing uh, sachets in there. Um, and that napier, uh, napier stuff. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But it gives off like a vapour that coats the metal surfaces and prevents corrosion. So... They're all looked after extremely well, but they get a lot of use. I mean a lot of use. There's loads of rounds being through this thing. And it has not missed a heartbeat. It has been superb. No problems at all with it. Um, and I have to admit, it's great. And I'll tell you something else as well. This is one of the best magazines I have ever used. These little mags are brilliant. Really, really good. Easy to load. And honestly, 
not missed a heartbeat. It's been brilliant. It's a really good magazine. If I've got one complaint with my priest, um, it is that the 2.5 mag, um, oddly enough, not the 177 mag, the 177 magazine uh, works like a tree. But the 2.5 calibre mag is not very good. And it does have a little tendency, if you're not very, very, very careful with it, to jam or even to shear off a little bit of the uh, the skirt of the um, pellet. Um, I've not had it, sh I've had it shear w on one round, um, but I've had three or four jams with it in 2.5 calibre. Um, it's been sort of faintly annoying, um, to put it mildly. The rest of the gun is sublime. It shoots like an absolute dream, that thing. Honestly, it's pinpoint laser accurate. Um, but it's just a bit annoying that in the 2.5 cal, um, the magazine is perhaps not the best in the world. 177 caliber, no problems at all. It's been great. I just wish that it had a magazine that was the, the, uh, the same sort of quality as the, uh, the Uragan uh, magazine. Because these are, inc these are really good, honestly. So easy to drop, just load as well. The pellets, it's just, just brilliantly designed. Easy peasy to use. Brilliant thing. Um, yeah, so yeah. So to anyone that is perhaps, I don't know, a bit worried about buying these guns that they maybe they've never heard of, um, I'd say don't be. You know, from my experience of using this thing, so far, what, four months I've had it, perhaps a bit more, and I've shot a hell of a lot of rounds through it. I mean, a lot of rounds through it. Um, I've recharged it God knows how many times and it's just been just no problems at all it's just perfect it's a fantastic little thing and it's bloody accurate as well when you think it's got hardly any barrel at all the barrel's tiny a lot of this the barrel actually come only the actual real barrel only comes to about here all of that is shroud and that's all obviously the silencer so the actual real barrel comes to about here. When you take the shroud off, the barrel's tiny. Tiny little thing. Runs from here to about there. So it's got a really short barrel on it. But it's phenomenally accurate. And and that's with shooting with the pard. Um, which, as I've said before, is not, not at all geared up to um, target shooting or printing particularly spectacularly good results because it's... Um, when you up the magnification on it, it's not perhaps the best uh, ret in the world at higher mags. You know, it, this is basically it's a hunting, it's a night hunting scope. It's not meant for trying to shoot pellet on pellet, tiny groups at 40 yards. That's not what it's for. Um, it's a hunting scope. Um, and like I say, in the summer, I am definitely going to be putting the, uh, the little discovery um, the short that sort of compact discovery scope on this rifle because <laughs> again it'll keep it nice and compact but then i'll really see um what sort of accuracy i can get out of this thing at 40 yards and based on what i've seen with the pard i think this is going to be spectacular as well because it's such a good gun and it's so reliable it's not missed a single heartbeat it is just bum 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 mega reliable no problems so don't be worried, you know, take a chance. These guns are as good as anything else you're going to get. You know, don't be fooled if, by not knowing the name. Because pretty soon, believe you me, pretty soon, these are so good, you will be knowing the name of these guns. That uh, The RTI Priest and these Uragans will be properly out there because they're so good. And... Then they're not cheap. They're not cheap. You know, they're quite expensive rifles, but they're cheaper than perhaps some of the better known, uh, better known stuff. And um, so far, from what I've seen, at least as good, if not actually better. You know, uh, I mean, I loved my. Uh, well, I still love it. I love the uh, Daystate Renegade. Um, I fitted mine out with a. Uh, I got a wooden. Uh, laminate stock that came off a uh, a pulsar 
change the side plates over and put that on my Renegade and that gun is brilliant. It is spectacular. The only problem made there is I bought it in 2.2 and I wish I hadn't. I should have bought it in 177. But I love that gun. It's a little compact rifle. It's brilliant. But this thing is equally as brilliant, I've got to say. You know, it's really good. So there you go. So that's the uh, a quick update on the Uragan Compact now as I've had it a good few months and given it a right good hiding. Um, seen a lot of use, shot a lot of rabbits at night, shot an awful lot of rabbits at night and hasn't missed a beat. This magazine, superb, one of the best. Um, I like the Daystate mags, I must admit the Daystate mags are blindingly good and I would say that this is up there with the Daystate mags. Um, I've not apparently they say I've changed their magazines to some new design. Um, I can't wait to see what they're like. Um, but time will tell, I suppose. But this thing's awesome. So thanks for watching.